Check out the size of this termite mound. It's huge. <laughs> This one is challenging. More streams here. <laughs> Lovely. Check that out, check that out guys. The entire track is washed off here. <laughs> wow, and there is a waterfall at the end of it. Oh man. Oh, wow. <laughs> Luckily, they made some concrete route here. Thankfully, I thought this part is going to be even bad, but because it's they put concrete here, it's not so bad. Wow, check this out. What a beautiful valley view from here guys that's a that's a spider valley that goes that way right next to this and probably that's the valley in which Kenneth and Baira walked while they were making their way to uh, Manchi and this was a really refreshing sight Butterflies calor. <laughs> Kenneth that night when he was actually waiting at um, I mean after his failed attempt he went and slept in his tent <coughs> which was near the lake itself and uh, I mean that pond of water and that night uh, he woke up with a startle and uh, when he realized uh, he, he heard some something come underneath the tent uh, and then you know 
immediately pull back itself so he at first thought it is a snake uh but then uh it, the next time that thing came underneath the tent and it pulled itself back it actually scratched the bedding the, on which he was lay, laying so immediately he realized it was class and the manito was right outside wow it was actually trying to fish him out of that uh, uh tent and to you know catch him so luckily he had his rifle right next to him he took it out uh, but unfortunately like he says he didn't wait enough to switch on the light or anything he just uh, you know took a shot uh, you know thinking where the tiger might be outside the tent and uh, there was nothing he didn't hear any sound at all so immediately he fired two more rounds and after that he rushed out to find out that there was no blood trace nothing no sounds at all so probably the tiger had escaped the tiger escaped two times that day but at the same time kenneth survived two times as well you know to live another day and to shoot that tiger another day it one hell of an adventure that was <laughs> the next day turned out to be much more luckier for him <laughs> mighty mighty spider valley wow man this is just fantastic <laughs> just look at this scenery around incredible wow and you're in the middle of nowhere all by yourself incredible incredible okay that's the temple over there <laughs> i am on the outskirts of manchi now and here looks quite dirty though yeah, it's been filled up by this river only wow man <laughs> check this out man just a paradise it's a shiva temple it's closed beautiful lovely place I don't have anything. All right, so I am on the outskirts of the village Manchi now, just half a kilometer from here, and uh, I'll just go and see if I can find a water hole there. On maps, I've seen quite a, f I think, couple of water holes, but I'll just go there and uh, let's see. Okay, a few village kids are coming this way. Oh, are they taking? What is it? Oh, they're taking the Lord uh, Ganapati, and uh, they're going to, you know, submerge it in that pond. The Ganapati festival is over quite a few days back, but seems they are still celebrating here in this village. the final push to the village of manchi wow at every corner the valley and the hills looks even better 
Check this out. That hill is towering. That range itself is just towering. And it eventually culminates at Guterayan Peak. And that's the valley below there. Fantastic. Fantastic. All right, that's the village of Manchi. We are here. Great. There's still no roads here. From what I'd seen, there is Taramak, but maybe a little ahead. Of course, the village would have grown many folds by now. I mean, it, it's pretty big village now, actually. Now we have a telecommunication tower here. So that shows how much it's improved. <laughs> okay, I'm generally uh, driving in the direction of the water hole that I had seen in uh, on maps. So generally driving in that direction now. Finally, we hit Taramak. Wow. Yes, feels good. Check out this cow. <laughs> He's curious about me. So that's all the cultivated land here of Manchi. It's pretty big now. It's huge. There's a flat part of land over here, covered with mountains on all sides. Look at the hillside over here, it looks like a very famous some hill station like Uti or something. It's just that there's no tourists here. That cow is grazing so high up. This seems to be a prominent temple in Manchi. clinic here. Nice. So this according to me is the water hole in Manchi where this adventure took place and maybe Kenneth would have sat there are a few trees you can see next to the temple there couple of trees there, one tree here I'm not sure he would have sat behind one of those trees if at all the tree had survived till now but some of these trees seem to be very old Ah, wow, so cute <laughs> cute. Choo 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 choo. <laughs> mother wants you. Okay, go to mother. All right, there is this beautiful temple here at this water hole that I came. Malleshwara Temple, I think, in Ishwara Temple. That's a Nandi there, a very old one. And you can see the temple here, which is closed. All right, so it was quite some adventure that I had in reaching this um, village of Manchi. Not as much as what Kenneth had, but still, so that's good enough an adventure for me. So what happened the second day was, uh, you know, this is like, you know, in 1950s, I guess. So when they woke up, when Kenneth woke up uh, after having missed his shot the next day, they woke up the second day and then he realized that uh, you know, they were, uh, you know, there was a sorcerer, a village sorcerer who wanted to perform some rituals on his rifle so that he can back the tiger the second day. So, they did that and, uh, you know, after that, uh, all those rituals, he actually went uh, with a village boy 
and Vaira, the three of them, they actually started climbing the hill. So near the water hole. So I'm sort of thinking maybe if this is the water hole, we are right here. Maybe that should be the hill. They started climbing that hill. And uh, after that, they got down that hill into the valley. Uh, and while they were getting down into the valley, somewhere over there, unfortunately, the tiger attacked and, uh, you know, you know, they were walking uh, 100 yards, uh, you know, with, with a gap of 100 yards. Uh, so the, the boy was on the left side of uh, Kenneth and Baira was 100 yards to the right of Kenneth. So when they, they were getting down into the bamboo forest, that's where the tiger might have been lying and it actually killed uh, the young boy. The, so very unfortunate. And uh, after that, what happened was uh, Kenneth and uh, uh, Baira had a long discussion. They were actually quite distraught that uh, the boy had been killed. And they actually spent some time, what they did was Eventually, they decided they'll set up a small hide for themselves there and uh, Kenneth ended up waiting that night there. And the tiger did come and it actually, you know, it's a long story, it, it killed a sambar in the valley. The elephant chased the tiger off the kill and eventually it uh, did uh, return to the uh, kill of the boy. And maybe somewhere in the night, uh, Kenneth could hear, hear it coming. It was growling as it was approaching the uh, body of the boy and eventually Kenneth somehow managed, I mean, once it came there, he managed to pump in two, three bullets and uh, eventually kill the tiger. So that's how uh, the man-eater, the novice of Manchi, his, uh, its, uh, you know, man-eating career came to an end. Somehow I have a feeling this is the water hole where the entire incident took place. So, the, um, you know, this is, in Manchi, if you see, uh, the, you know, the Manchi has grown now, but on maps, I see there is only one big water hole that I can see here. There may be another one, but this seems to be the prominent one. So, that's it, sir. We have found the water hole here. I'll just drive a little ahead to see if I can actually see, uh, get a view of the valley on the other side. If not, uh, I'll just head back the same way. Ishna class, what is it? Ishna class? 7th. Five. Eighth class, ah. Mm. Nina. Fourth. Fourth, ah. Mm. Seventh, you tumba kulla ki diyala, Nina. Mm. Hmm. Seventh and tenth sala. Sorry, akade hog bharti na pasal pa. All right, guys. So I'm trying to actually take up a small walk here uh, at the edge of the forest. I mean, at the edge of this village to see if I can get a better view of the valley on the other side so like you can see beyond that uh, hill over there just beyond that you should have a beautiful view of the uh, valley here just trying to see if i can check that out or i'm not sure there is a few footpaths here i'm not sure which one exactly to take um, i can actually try out them uh, it's just the border of the forest here but uh, you know, I'll have to do several, uh, I'll to try out the, at least three routes for me to try out. Might be difficult. I'm thinking, let me check with any villager here if they can help me. There was a few houses nearby. I'll just go and ask them to see if they can help me. The village lady over there said, Take a left, it will go to the top. But she's very far from me. I mean, she was very far. So I couldn't exactly get what she meant. So I'm just trying out one route. If at all it goes up, I'll see. But this seems to be going into the forest. I'll just give it a try. If not, I'll just have to head back. This definitely seems to be a path here, but I'm just not sure where this will go. But all I see is I'm gaining elevation, but the path she showed me is different. I'm panting. <laughs> with luggage, with this bag, with all the riding gear, to trek is difficult. 
<laughs> All right, so this trail is gaining altitude rapidly. The path that the lady told me somewhere there. I see a villager there. Just double check with him. Illing over there. Me, me loga tai da. Ha, dari. Akade kana ta akade ga. I'm glad I met another villager here. He said I can go from here. The reason I was uh, confused is, see that fellow. I don't know how he got up there. There is another track there, and probably that's what the lady asked me to take. Now I'm climbing up somewhere adjacent to that. Hmm. Kenneth and Byra the next day. <laughs> well, uh, you know, when they went after this tiger, with that boy, unfortunate boy. They actually climbed up this hill and got down the valley. Imagine, imagine how tough they were. We are panting just for a, a few minutes of hike, and the end doesn't seem to be in sight at all. Uh, when Kenneth has written that, you know, they were like panting and huffing and puffing by the time they. You know, cross this village in summer. I think I can totally correlate to that. When it's hot here, it really gets hot. And what this is <laughs> September, and it's hot. Noda ke bande? Card. Card. Huh. So we are at higher altitude at Manchi. Wow! <laughs> Fantastic. That's the Spider Valley. Thanks. Are they camping there? Yeah, they are camping there. Beautiful. Chana Kanat. Fantastic valley. Ali Nadi na Hari Tar Dali Nadi. Ah, Allah Niro. अरे नीर याव नीर आ अरे इंगेन तो बता दे मैं आगनो रंदा हाँ दा हाँ मैं आगनो रंदा इंगेन बैठे हाँ हाँ great गुतरा इन बैठा याद हो अदरिंदीन दला गुतरा इन बैठा गुतरा इन बैठे ये कड़े अली जाना अली कहने से लग रही ना आज कड़ेर बैठा कड़ेर करे बैठा ना हाँ कड़ेर बैठा नोड बुरा ले चाहा ह आकड़े वाले लोग कर लो इतने अल्लु दोनों दुकल लो आकल में लेते कर ले अल्ला आकड़े नहीं बंद रहे ला अल्ला का ना था जस्ट फैंटास्टिक गाइस लुक एट द व्यू फ्रॉम हियर दैट्स द स्पाइडर वैली दैट्स द विलेज ऑफ कैंपे कराई समटाइम आई हैव टू विजिट दैट आल्सो इलिंदा कैंपे कराई नटकों इलाके नंबर रोड़े ही था ला गैरेटिन बर्बर गैरेटिन था पैना करने तो पता था ब्यूटीफुल वैली सो व्हाट अ फंटास्टिक व्यू दिस हैज बीन गाइस टू गेट अ व्यू ऑफ द स्पाइडर वैली फ्रॉम हियर इनक्रेडिबल सो या ऑल इन ऑल थैंक्स टू दिस विलेजर हु हेल्प मी शो दिस यू नो रूट आई आई वाजेंट व
Oh man, what an adventure this has been guys. So I'm just walking back now. So, you know, taking that route from, you know, Ayur to Manchi and then, uh, you know, you know, checking out that place where probably that uh, incident happened. Uh, and then, you know, to finally climb up this hill, have a little bit of my own adventure hiking and actually get to see a panoramic view of the spider valley. What a fantastic, uh, you know, day it has been. What a fantastic adventure it has been for me personally. Wow, wow. this has been one of my uh, best Kenneth Anderson adventures so far that I have followed up on. Following up on Kenneth's trail is one thing, uh, you know, and trying to find the places where the incident happened, that's one thing. And to have a bit of adventure myself, that's equally important for me. Because, um, you know, when you, you know, reach these places and uh, try to find out such, uh, you know, how much natural beauty is still there and uh, that, that has got to be preserved and, you know, you know, uh, you know, it has to stay like this for the future generations so that uh, it's not just for human generations, even it's for the our Mother Earth. It will be a huge favor if we can, you know, preserve such places and, uh, you know, so that, you know, the future generations can enjoy this as well. <laughs> it's not that, uh, because if these hills are gone, if these forests are gone, then it will be just available in the books to read and uh, not there for anyone in the future to enjoy so yeah absolutely absolutely i'm so thrilled <laughs> having had this chance to <clears throat> uh, climb up here and uh, you know you know have a beautiful experience uh, from top of this hill <laughs> now with that said uh, my adventure personal adventure is only half done i have to get back to my bike get things ready and um, you know i'm going to take another route now i'm not going to take the same route i'm going to go via gerati now while heading back to bangalore i'll go to i'll take this ancheti from gerati and then i'm thinking to go via uh, kanakapura or some other uh, found another interior route so that's where i'm thinking of uh, going back towards bangalore but uh, what an adventure this has been I will show you something, if at all there is something worthwhile, I'll show you. Otherwise, uh, from now on I'll focus on getting ready and getting back home for now. So, I'll see you guys on another adventure. I hope you guys enjoyed this as much as I felt and, uh, you know, had a blast filming this. So, until then, take care, see you then and goodbye. Thankfully, back to bike. All right, time to head back. GoPro, turn off the camera. Turn off the camera. Come on, man. <laughs>